Welcome back. I'm Andre Gishard with Gallery Gishard and Fine Art South of Roosevelt Road. Today, I have a good friend, phenomenal artist, Robert Ketchings, who is the first of the Sapphire solo series, exhibition series, which actually will be kicking off at the DuSable Museum July 15th from 6 to 9 p.m., but the exhibit actually runs through August, and just like to give you a chance to meet Robert, talk to him a little bit about his work, and make sure you have a chance to enjoy more about his fingerprint as he talks about his work at the Artist Talk and today on the blog. Robert, welcome to thank Chicago. You. Thank How are you? Very much, Andre. I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, thank you excellent. Me. So, tell us, where are you from originally? I'm originally from uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay. Born and raised. How long have you been painting? professionally now? I've been painting professionally since 1972. Oh. I started as a medical illustrator uh, with the United States Air Force and uh, fell in love with fine art on the tour to uh, Wiesbaden, uh, Germany, where I took lessons from a local master there and all painting was in my blood. From that point on, I decided I would put medical illustration down and strictly stick with fine art. Excellent. Robert, one of the things I really enjoy about your work is your versatility as an artist. Not only do you do landscapes well, but you have a wide range of subject matter as well as mediums that you work in. And I know this exhibit has a pretty wide expression of different series. Can you talk to us a little bit about the different bodies of work that we'll see in this exhibit? Sure, Andre. Um, one of my favorites is called Displaced, Dispersed, and Dissed. That deals with the African-American struggle from uh, coming over initially on slave slips, ships until the present. Um, I deal with uh, my hometown's devastation from the Hurricane Katrina, as you know, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, and that was very important to me. In fact, it was therapy for me to get these pieces out. They're really large, all on canvases, and it dealt with our homeboy's perspective. You know, we had a lot of people coming in at that time, bringing rescues in, and no one really was able to tell the story of the people that lived there without the crying and the boohooing. So I kind of looked back and talked to my sisters and those who went through the struggle, talked to them about the devastation. And during that period of a year, I produced these works, and it was about 21 pieces total. I put that on uh, display at Fontbonne University in, in uh, St. Louis and uh, been well received. Another one of my favorite pieces is Wally College series. I did a series of Men of Strength. Uh, Wally College had me come in and uh, they talked about what it meant to be an African American man. Not the old, same old stereotypes, you know, being full of brawn, but being a caring father, being a pastor, being a doctor, being a lawyer, some of my favorite things. My favorite medium, of course, is all on canvas. Excellent. So that's just a preview of the many works that they'll see. We're exhibiting 56 of your works, is that correct? Correct. Excellent. And you plan to talk about the work and the series in detail during the artist talk. Absolutely. One thing I love, Andre, is to share uh, my experiences in my work, especially with young people, because I got into art because of an older gentleman when I was a young boy running and cutting up. Come here, boy, sit down here. I know you can draw. So, you know, go from there. So I want to do the same thing. So education and telling people, especially young people, what I do and why I do it, very important to me. Excellent. Well, I won't give them all the, the treats, yeah. but I do want to say this is a very exciting opportunity for us as Chicagoans and anyone who sees this in the neighboring states to hear a contemporary master talk about his work, see a retrospective this Thursday, 6 to 9 p.m. at the DuSable Museum, and it is the kickoff for the Sapphire solo series. And I look forward to seeing you, and thank you again for your time.